I connected electrodes to my husband's stomach to make him feel the pain of childbirth. Mike was convinced that motherhood was a vacation, so I wanted to prove him wrong. Childbirth exhausted me. But Mike claimed he didn't feel anything and even managed to do all the work. I was about to slap him for being so inappropriate. But he said he got me a present for giving birth to our baby. I was expecting something touching, but it was a gym membership. Now you'll have a lot of time. Use it to get in shape. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? When I was feeding the baby, hmm? he showed me his recent selfies. Took them at the gym. This man will be waiting for you in the bedroom tonight. He didn't even notice that at the moment I was dying of pain because the baby had already grown teeth and it felt like hundreds of little piranhas pouncing on my breast. For Mike to understand what I was going through, I put some pepper on his chest while he was sleeping. <laughs> the next morning, I went to my husband and playfully said that I missed him a lot. Hmm. Finally. I started rubbing his chest and saw his eyes hmm? filling up with tears. However, Mike was holding on. Even in that state, he refused to budge. Maybe something will work out for us today. Just wash your hair. What? Was that all you noticed? I asked if it wasn't clear that I didn't have enough time, hmm. to which he replied, that's a time management issue. I will easily continue to provide for my family and do all the household chores. Believe me. Well, I didn't make you say that. I wrote down everything I did around the house. Hmm? And looked at Mike hmm. with interest. He pretended that it was okay. No problem. I'll even have time for my nails today. I had to admit that he was coping with work and the household chores pretty well. Therefore, I added a third projectile, a baby. <gasps> Everything is great. I'm not tired at all. Since he was not tired at night, I whispered in his mm. ear how attractive he was. Mm? Right now? <laughs> okay. I will make a strong coffee. Mike didn't mm. last very long. In just a few weeks, <gasps> it became obvious that he wasn't able to handle all of it. He pretended to work as hard as possible, although his laptop screen was off. When I asked for an explanation, Mike admitted he had been fired. <laughs> you put too much on me. I just did not have enough time and failed. That same day, I offered him a solution. I would go back to work and provide for the family. And he would do all the housework and take care of the baby. My husband had no arguments against it. 
maternity leave ended and I felt happy. Finally, I was not only a mother, but also a sought-after specialist. Meanwhile, Mike gave up on fitness and shaved his hair so he wouldn't waste time washing it. I need a day off to send out my CV. Huh? I told him that it wasn't possible because I had to submit an important project. I asked Mike where my dinner was. As it turned out, he didn't have time to cook it, which was why I suggested he should quickly fix it while I took a bath <gasps> after a hard day at work. When I walked out of the bathroom, I saw that Mike had ordered cheap fast food, even though he was the one who changed our diet to exclusively healthy homemade food. You have to decide whether you need a live husband or a healthy dinner. In the end, I decided not to dwell on it and go straight to dessert. I led Mike into the bedroom and took out a special gift for him. It was obvious that he was pleased, at least until he saw what was inside. I explained that I wanted his athletic body to show its best qualities. But first, I told him to get in the bathtub. Ew. After all, the smell of diapers wasn't very romantic. <sighs> While my husband was in the bathroom, I was getting ready. I freshened up and put our bedroom in order. Then I adopted a beautiful pose and waited for him. and Mike was still in there. Hmm. I called him, but he didn't answer. So I went inside and saw Mike peacefully sleeping in the water as his laptop floated like a ship. My husband literally passed out while sending resumes. Suddenly, I felt so ashamed. In an attempt to punish him for inappropriate behavior, I started being cruel myself. That's why I took the next day off and helped Mike with the household chores. It turned out to be much more pleasant doing them together. And twice as easy. That night, feeling grateful, Mike prepared a romantic <laughs> evening. He told me that a potential employer was interested in the soft skills he had developed during maternity leave. Motherhood really is hard work. I'm sorry I devalued it. Having finally come to an understanding, we agreed to be full partners who share all household chores <laughs> without forgetting about ourselves. Every parent starts as an amateur but it's in their power to become a professional.